Hello everybody, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next topic, which is iron. So we're getting right into our minerals. Okay, we're gonna start off with our trace minerals and then we're gonna move into our macro minerals. And yes, our first one, like I said, is going to be iron. And iron does two things for us, okay? I know I just did this. Uh, it does two things for us in the body. It is very vital in creating hemoglobin, which is a protein that in the red blood cells that help carry oxygen to the lungs and the entire body. But it also creates myoglobin, which I feel like doesn't get talked about, a lot about because everybody knows about hemoglobin when they hear it. But myoglobin is actually what helps carry oxygen to our muscles. And it is also essential to help make hormones in our body. So let's talk about the benefits. Um, obviously I mentioned that it uh, creates hemoglobin and it also creates myoglobin. Um, it's important for our immune system support. It helps nourishes our skin. It helps reduce dark circles. It improves our sleep quality. It enhances memory. It reduces fatigue, and by that meaning that you have a lot more oxygen um, flowing through the body, so therefore you're not as tired. Um, it enhances our sports performance, um, and it helps with our hair health, and it strengthens pregnancy. So let's talk about the deficiencies. What does that look like? A lot of it's just gonna be the opposite of what we just talked about in terms of its benefits, meaning that instead of you know um, reducing fatigue, you may have extreme fatigue and weakness because you are deficient in iron. You obviously could end up developing anemia. Um, you could have pale skin. Maybe you'll experience some chest pain, maybe a fast heartbeat. Uh, you might have shortness of breath. You might experience headaches or dizziness, lightheadedness due to the fact that there's not enough oxygen um, flowing through um, to the brain. Uh, you might experience cold hands and feet. Um, you might have inflammation, maybe soreness in the tongue. You might experience some brittle nails and you might experience some poor appetite, especially in like children if they already have anemia. So what does an excess of um, iron look like? Well, you could experience things like nausea, abdominal pain, constipation, diarrhea, vomiting, maybe inflammation of the stomach lining. You might experience like peptic ulcers, which basically is open sores that are on the lining of the stomach or the upper portion of the small intestine. You could also have um, reduced zinc absorption and you could also experience um, convulsions. So what causes the body to not uptake iron? Well, as we've talked about the gut health, a lot of it deals with that particular region. So if you have any existing conditions or you're in the process of developing these conditions, your body will prohibit you from uptaking iron such as celiac disease, Crohn's disease, or you may have diverticular disease, which is basically small bulging pouches within the digestive tract. Um, you may have hiatus hernia, which basically is a bulge in the stomach, like through the diaphragm. Um, you could uh, have like chronic hepatitis or liver conditions. And if you've had any previous like um, surgical removal of say your stomach or even partial uh, removal of your stomach and that could definitely affect your ability to absorb iron and other things that you might end up eating could prevent it so if you have too much like calcium if you eat things that have phytates in it or polyphenols um, Maybe things with tannins like teas, a lot of teas have tannins in them, um, could prohibit iron absorption. Or if you uh, consume anything with like antiacids or proton um, pump inhibitors, 
those kind of things could also prevent iron absorption. So what can you do to help absorb iron better? Well, like we've mentioned, having a really healthy gut flora is so important. And if you don't have a pre-existing gastrointestinal problem, then I highly suggest being mindful of the things that you eat or diversify your plate so that way you're absorbing the right amount in your body. So uh, vitamin C is one way in which your body can absorb iron. And so if you pair it together, it's going to help um, your body uptake it a lot easier. Uh, the three foods that have the highest content of iron, now I'm obviously basing this on a plant-based diet, so yes, we know that meats definitely do have high iron in them, but for the sake of um, this channel, it, we are focusing on plant-based. So dried apricots actually have 42% of its daily value in one cup, and large white beans have 37% in one cup, and spinach has 36% um, of your daily value in one cup. Well guys, that completes our first trace mineral, and I will see you guys next time for the following minerals. Take care. Bye!